up guys and welcome back to my channel so now this is for my people that just got accepted into nursing school you're wondering what do I do next I got you here we go number one you need to know dosage calculations just the basics you don't need to be doing titrations and all that yet unless you want to but I just suggest doing conversions like inches, centimeters, pounds, uh, kilograms, all of that you need to be practicing. Um, just get familiar with the equations of uh, like dosage and on hand and all this and ordering. Get familiar with it. Dosage math is nursing math. That's all the math you're gonna be doing is calculating what kind of medicine to give, um, how much and all these different type of things so there are there's like formula sheets everywhere online I will post the one that I have um, I think it's very helpful to have like all your conversions all your formulas all that in one area because when you go scavenging for different things it just confuses the math even more so it's very important to have just a paper you can keep in your binder or in your phone where you can just take a look at it Get familiar with these things before you even start nursing school because I'm telling you in my program before every class we have to take a dosage calculation exam and it only gets more complex so I suggest starting off with the basics it's very important because this is going to go with you throughout your whole nursing school journey and it's it's a good head start I think because I didn't have anybody to tell me hey look into math because nursing school isn't all about science and medicine like you need to know some math so that's a move i suggest getting familiar with vital signs how to take them what instruments are you going to be using like you know the different types of ranges just get familiar with the vital signs because that's one of the first things they're going to teach you in nursing school is how to take vital signs uh, some people know how to take vital signs already, whether you have an older grandparent, your CNA, or you just worked in another area of the hospital or things like that. You already know how to take vital signs, but just reorientate your mind um, to vital signs, just blood pressure, heart rate, temperature, respiration, all these things you're going to know. You're going to have to know how to uh, measure them. Uh, I suggest... If you don't have your equipment right now, like your stethoscope and your blood pressure cup and everything like that, I just suggest watching videos on it on YouTube. It's very easy to look up. Um, there's a lot of good ones on here. I was looking at them, you know, when I had to do my skills check off, which is nerve wracking, but you just need to know the normal ranges of the different vital signs. Um, they consider pain a vital sign now. So just know one to 10, you know, how to ask about pain and you need to know what do you use to take these vital signs some places have machines now like a lot of hospitals have machines I did go to a clinical site where there was no machine to be found so I had to do everything manually um, so just know that there your skills check off is not gonna be with the machine you're gonna have to do everything manually except for temperature because temperature is the only thing you need an actual instrument for so just get familiar with the vital signs. That's number two. Number three, this is the only thing I suggest you purchase outside of school. It's an NCLEX book. The one I have is a Saunders. Um, it's the most popular one, I think. Uh, it's not that expensive. And it's just, it's not gonna, like, you're a new, new student, so it's not gonna be about knowing the concept right now. It's about the questions in that book. You need to look at those questions and get familiar with how they're being asked. Now, nursing school questions are application level. It's not like high school or college, other colleges. It's very, very detailed based. And the NCLEX Saunders book really helped me break down questions. I could tell like how they're wording the question, how they're asking the question. For example, um, they might give you a scenario about a patient and then they'll say, how would you know that teaching has been effective? Or they can say, which of the following is like, this patient needs more teaching. So you have to look at the wording of the question 
and it's very different from other classes. So it's very important you take a look at these, these questions in this book. Just get an NCLEX book. Um, if you can't afford an NCLEX book, just look online of NCLEX style questions. And again, you do not need to know the content right now. You don't need to know what cirrhosis is. You don't need to know what liver failure is. You just need to know how the question is being asked, look at the answer choices, look at the answer, and just get an idea about how the questions are gonna be worded, how they're gonna be asked, how they're gonna be formulated, because that's very important in nursing school. A lot of people take more time trying to figure out how to test take in nursing school because they haven't even looked at application style questions. So it's very important to get a head start in that area. So number four, last but not least, is to get familiar with, get, oh, all right, okay. Get familiar with a head to toe assessment. Every nursing student is going to have to take a head to toe assessment. Um, you're gonna have to do it in front of your instructor and you're gonna have to know basically everything about how to examine the body. So what I suggest is you go on YouTube, just start to uh, look up some head to toe assessment videos because they have such Googles on YouTube. Um, you can also Google head to toes. It'll give you like a sheet, like a sheet will pop up and it'll tell you everything you need to be checking. Just look at those things, just glance at it if you have to every day, just look at it like, I don't know what it is, but this is what we're gonna be doing. You know, just try to get familiar. None of these things are for you to master it right now. It's just so you cannot be spooked when these things happen to you and you have to know them. So it's very, very important because a head to toe, like I said, everybody has to do one. So it's not just like random. It's like every single person needs to know how to do a head to toe if you wanna to be a nurse. So just look at those videos. Um, if you already have your book for school, take a look at it, you know, glance through it. Uh, health assessment is where you take your head to toe, most likely. I think some people do it in foundations. But I, my program, we did it in health assessment. So if you have a health assessment book already, just take a look at it, you know, get familiar with how to examine the body and just don't be spooked because it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna seem like a lot because, you know, they're gonna break it down to where it seems that, that way. But once you do that head to toe, you're gonna be like, this was a breeze. Like, I'm telling you right now, I felt that way and, um, those videos on YouTube really helped me. So just try to look at those videos, get an idea of how to do a head to toe, um, how, to, how to talk while you're doing it, how to treat your patient, how to touch your patient. Um, that was kind of just, okay. <laughs> These things are gonna be very basic foundation of your success to your learning in nursing school. So I'm just really hope this video is helpful and my tips are helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you need any links to anything, if, you, if you're having trouble finding any of the things I mentioned, let me know. I'm here to help you and I'm here to send you in the right direction. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And thank you guys for tuning in. 